Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's your boy Lasagna. Um, I just beat uh, Days Gone, and I'd like to give my quick review, recommendations, and uh, thoughts on the game. So, <clears throat> for the actual gameplay, I say I give it a six and a half because, like you see in this clip here, there's a big glitch. <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of noticeable glitches and a lot, a lot of noticeable bugs even after the updates. Um, actual story I'd give it like a seven maybe six and a half seven um, it takes a really long time to build up as my buddy Roy told me it takes forever to get the story going and everything to kind of happen with it and then all of a sudden boom 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 it's over you know so that that I'd give like a six and a half seven um, the graphics <clears throat> I'd probably do I don't know a high seven like a seven and point five seven five eight um, it's pretty good it's a third-person shooter, kind of like Gears of War, and uh, I haven't really noticed or had any issues with the third-person shooter in this game. Um, I'd probably give that a good seven and a half, eight again, which I liked a lot. And then character development, I'd do a nine or a ten because you kind of learn who they are as you play the game. Like when I start, you don't know nothing about Deacon, and at the end, you know, he was, uh, if you haven't played it yet, you should stop here. Anyways, at the end, you know, he was in the army, and he was married, and he can't swim, and all this other stuff by the end of it. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Is this game worth playing? Uh, yeah. I'd say it's worth playing. Is it worth... Is it worth uh, paying full price for? No. I'd say if this game comes to 35 bucks, it's worth buying and playing through. I don't know what the price is now, but uh, that's my thoughts on Days Gone. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to drop by stream. That's where we ended up beating this game. And uh, have a wonderful, what is it, Thursday.